the rest of the world is taking note of the fact that African countries are trying to improve their business environment as a strategy to attract more foreign direct investment. One of the key investment drivers is the increasing prevalence of peace, democratic elections, and improved governance. Lesotho's performance in this regard sets an example for the rest of the continent and indeed the world. Lesotho's electoral model is the envy of many. Last year, it ushered in the first coalition government in Lesotho's history, and I would like to believe in the history of the African continent. The World Bank's Doing Business Indicators survey for 2013, seen by many as a benchmark for rating the world's business environments, placed Lesotho among the top performers in 2012. Ranked number 136, well below South Africa, Botswana, Namibia, and Swaziland in the report released in 2012. The 2013 report, however, showed that Lesotho had moved up to number 79, just below South Africa at number 55. Lesotho is without a doubt one of the big movers in doing business indicators. And given this momentum, we are going to record further improvements when the next report is published. <coughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Lesotho has many investment opportunities. Vast opportunities exist in mining, manufacturing, tourism, and indeed many other sectors for people wishing to do business in the suit. Members of my delegation will ably elaborate on the rest of them. I, however, intend to highlight to you just one of those opportunities. Lesotho and the Republic of South Africa have recently signed an agreement to implement the second phase of the renowned Lesotho Highlands Water Project, a project often described as an ingenious engineering feat and one of its kind in Africa. This second phase of the project is intended to provide additional water to Gauteng province, which is South Africa's industrial hub. This project presents us with a number of opportunities in tourism, in infrastructural development such as power, roads, hospitals, and schools. This means that there are substantial opportunities for the private sector to either invest alone or in partnership with government. The reforms that my government has implemented and will continue to implement, coupled with our determination to improve governance and entrench democratic practices, have created a conducive and secure climate for business. Ladies and gentlemen, Lesotho is ready to do business with you. <coughs> I also invite you to come to Lesotho and to see for yourselves that we are indeed open for business.
I thank you for your attention.